can't help but to notice the horror. What's inside the new BAM Horror subscription box? And how could you not notice the horror? After all, this month's box from BAM has it nicely printed on the front of the box to tell you exactly which BAM box you're getting. The BAM Horror Box, one of my personal favorites, getting it every single month, contains collectibles, replicas, and most importantly of all, includes autographs. And I have been a collector, an archiver of all the autographs I've been getting over the uh, several years, I suppose, of getting the BAM box. I have myself a nice little binder. One of these days, one of these days, mark my words, I should probably show you guys my collection of autographs. Now, I've committed myself to it. But every single month, like I said, BAM will deliver that all to your doorstep. If you are interested in getting stuff of the horror variety delivered to your doorstep, you can click the link down below and you can subscribe to the BAM Horror Box. I'm not really sure necessarily which month this may be. I'm thinking it might be February, but of course we'll know soon enough as we get this opened up. In order to get from this step that we're in right now to the next available step, I'm going to have to grab myself a knife. And I've got Chet Cunnington to be joining us on this journey. On the front, you can see it's for fans, by fans. Probably shouldn't be doing that with a knife. And you can see there's also tape on the front. Let's relieve the tape of its duties. Put that to the side, the knife for the time being. And open up the box and see what we got inside. Seems normally the case we're always treated to tissue paper. Seems to we, that we have not only just one sheet, but two sheets of tissue paper. We're going to put that to the side. We also got ourselves the red carpet affair, bam, backdrop there. The wallpaper that you can see right there. Bam, t clearly telling you exactly which box this is. I'm going to put that to the side as well. Nobody's claimed it so far, so for the time being, I'm just putting it to the side. Uh, you know what? Why don't we start start things off with a bang? A bam, if you will. I'm going to start first with a scratch card. I always seem to wait a little bit longer into the review to do this, and I feel like I've always ended up losing. Perhaps I'll be a winner this time around by doing this as the first thing. To do this, I'm going to reach off camera and grab my very crude tool. This is my little nail clippers. I don't ever use these for clipping nails, generally just twist ties for figures and other things. But I tell you, this end serves a perfect tool to scratching off the BAM box, the BAM little cards. I thought for a second it was going to be free dinner. No, actually, it's paint. What do we got here? We got the first one being a free art upgrade. Okay. Bob Ross would be happy by that. Scratch off the next one and see if we fare better. Well, starting at the beginning, changing the order that we do this has not changed anything. I'm still a big loser. Don't ever say that. You should never call yourself a loser. But we're going to go ahead and finish off the race. <laughs> I dropped the card. The card just literally threw out of my hand. There we go. Even the card's like, you know what? We know where this is going, humbled reviewer. I might as well just leave, pack up my bags, and be done for the day. Don't go anywhere, bam, scratch card. Let's finish the race. So we did get ourselves a free art upgrade, a free pin upgrade, and a free flat screen TV. If you were brought up in kindergarten or even earlier into your grades knowing that samesies match, then you'll know right off the bat we didn't win anything. It's okay. It's okay. First thing we're going to have a look at in the way of the trinkets inside, we've got ourselves, it looks like Sheriff Brody from February 2021, so we already know the release date on this box. That's Brody from uh, Jaws, of course. We're going to need a bigger boat box. We're going to need a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger box sometimes for the stuff we get packed inside. February 2021, we know right off the bat now which it is. This pin is a limited release of 250. Perhaps we did get ourselves a smaller quantity pin. Numbers are on the back of the pin which you can't really see right now. You only can look at the front there. Is that Roy, Roy Schneider? Roy Scheider, I think it is. I always get him confused with the guy from The Waterboy. Not the guy that, you can do it. Not that guy, not that guy. That's Rob Schneider, I believe. This is Roy Scheider, I believe. A lot of believing. He's also in Sequest. A really underappreciated sci-fi series, if you ask me. We also got ourselves, oh, oh, look at this, Frankie, Frankenstein's monster, or some of us just like to refer to him as Frankenstein, depicted here as quite a cool looking collector's card. <laughs> That's a lot of C's. 
On the back, congratulations. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists, Ali. For featured artist, Ali Artist. That's a lot of artists thrown into that sentence. This card is part of this year's Villain series. And you can see it's been autographed down below. The artist this time around is Sean Langley. 565 out of the limited run of 2,500. I like that. That's a nice looking card. I could probably just spend the rest of this review just staring at it. No, we're not going to do that. Could you imagine if just the rest of the video was that? Many of you would just suspect and leave comments down below. Hey, buddy, I think your video is freezing. No, it's not. I was in on it. I was part of the gag. I don't really know what this is. I see a P. I see possibly an I and maybe a C. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm probably judging by the size of it, not going to be able to show all of it on camera, but I'll do my best. I'll give it the college try. It does look like a banner. It does, in fact, look like a banner. What do we got going on here? Oh boy, this is just gonna this is gonna literally unravel to spaces that I just don't have afforded. It says, "Welcome to oh, welcome to Camp Crystal Lake." You can't you can't see that. I definitely need to invest in a larger workspace. It says, "Welcome, welcome to," and then you got Camp Crystal. It's all over the place. Camp Crystal Lake. Okay, I'm gonna just put that to the side. It's almost like that big giant map from Freddy's Dead. Remember that? Carlos is just unraveling that map in the back of the van. Nice hearing from you, Carlos. Let's go ahead and check out some of the offerings. Don't worry, I'm hoping that there's the, there's going to be that insert card. Because the insert card will give you a better idea of what that banner looks like. Because I totally dropped the ball, I feel, showing you that in this video. We've got ourselves a series of Stephen King movie characters. I'm, if I'm looking at this correctly, we've got Creep Show. We just, I just finished watching Misery. I say we, like we're all doing it together, but I did post it on Instagram and you guys that follow me over on Instagram did happen to comment in on that Misery. Annie, great movie. Cujo, what else we got in here? A other couple of characters in here as well. A couple of characters also from Creep Show. There's the Indian at the back there. That's neat. Up at the top there, you can see there's the autograph of the artist responsible for this. This is a limited release run of 500. There's only 500 of these made. And this one happened to be 329. Oh, that's thinner. There's the thinner pie down there. Uh, on the back, we've got the certificate of authenticity. This fan art inspired art print from our fan art collection was inspired or was created exclusively for a single run print for the BAM box. It has been hand signed by the artist who created it and is guaranteed to be authentic, legit, too legit to quit. Uh, and then we've also got ourselves an autograph. <gasps> we've got ourselves an autograph. I'm guessing of the voice actor responsible for the creeper. Right there. I love, first of all, the print that they decided to go with. Kind of like sepia tone, black and white. And it's not quite a black and white image, but kind of has that old aged look to it. As you can see, it's been legitimately uh, authenticated by Beckett. And on the back there, we've got the Beckett Certificate of Authenticity. The corresponding signed item has been subjected to examination by an expert from Beckett Authentication Services and has been deemed authentic and genuine. This authentication can be verified using www.beckett-authentication.com and utilizing the below authentication number in the designated area. How about that? Put that to the side. We also got this. What is this? BAM Featured Celebrity. The BAM Featured Celebrity this time around, known for Tales from the Crypt, is John Kassir, who's the voice actor, of course, responsible for doing The Creeper. I think he also did the voice of The Creeper in the cartoon. Not 100% certain by that. But that's the actor responsible, the voice actor responsible for giving the creeper his life or death, so to speak. Now let's have a look at the things we got inside for the celebrity autograph. We are so, so excited to bring you the voice of the creepiest narrator of all time, John Kassir. Is it Kassir or Kashir from the Tales from the Crypt? Kashir is one of the most iconic voices in all of horror. We featured him in an expansion pack several years ago, but never imagined we'd be able to put him to one of our horror boxes. Most of you receive one of the three... Uh, one of the three creepy autograph photos, and some of you will receive the limited black and white version, which I guess is the one that I did get. How about that? These are the other prints also available. One looks like he's got himself a cleaver. 
The other one, he looks like he's hooked up to the electric chair. And there's another one where he's just reading a story, all of which are really quite good. I kind of like the fact, though, I did get that black and white release. Then moving on to the collector's pin, Steven Spielberg and John Williams teamed up in 1975 to create a horror movie about a shark and ended up creating a Hollywood masterpiece. Artist Brian Romero designed these pins to commemorate the generations of beachgoers who have been traumatized by Jaws for decades. Most of you will get Jaws himself, but some of you will also get Hooper in 250 release or Quint in 99 or 50. Did I just call him, what did I call him, Sheriff? That's not, I think I call that Sheriff. It's not that. I think I said that wrong. But anyways, there's Roy Scheider down below. I wonder how many people actually commented on that. I think I didn't call him that at all. Anyways, uh, we do have ourselves the Artist Alley print this year. Ken Hazer is going big with a four-part celebration in the universe of Stephen King. Each arc print will stand on its own, but at the end of April, you'll be able to get put together the four pieces to create an epic poster. We've seen it, and it's incredible. This is a must-have for any fan of Stephen King. What you weren't really necessarily able to see is this big giant flag that we did get. Raise the flag for Camp Crystal Lake. From the Friday 13th camp that started it all, we bring you a full-size replica flag to show your Crystal Lake support. While you have a Camp Crystal Lake sign as it is now, made of wood, and it looks accurate to the way it looks in the film, now I can actually have myself a flag sailing above it. Really like that. And last but certainly not least, we have the Artist Select card. This year, we're proud to bring you the villains from all our favorite franchises. This month, professional artist Sean Langley has brought us Frankenstein's monster. Be on the lookout for the hollow card versions and one-of-one hand-drawn sketch cards, which I didn't end up getting. I just got the regular release one. Quite a selection of things I have to say in this time around. The February 2021 box for BAM. If you are somebody that enjoys to have horror stuff delivered to your doorstep, and just to kind of give you a good idea of the things that you could get, getting ourselves a Creeper autographed print and getting ourselves a Camp Crystal Lake flag, I think are really good nudges to kind of get you interested in getting the BAM box delivered to your doorstep as well. If you do fancy the idea of getting one of these boxes delivered right to your door, click the link down below in the video description. Also, if you are new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing on a regular basis, consider the idea of hitting the subscribe button down below, turning also the bell notification on, and know to come back to this channel every single day, because it seems like nowadays we seem to have videos going up every single day, even sometimes on the weekends. There's always new stuff to be getting a good gander at, so keep your peepers peeled to this channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.